Hello again, and welcome to another edition of Minute with Matt. I'm Matt with New Life Church, and we're going to continue the study of Psalm 119. This time, we're in the one in the stanza of it, designated as P-E, uh, whether that's pronounced P or Pei, whatever that Hebrew letter is pronounced at, as uh, it's verses 129 to 136 starts off your testimonies are wonderful therefore my soul keeps them amen that's the way we need to feel about God's word and that's what we need to do about God's word his word is wonderful and we keep God's word verse 130 the entrance of your words gives light it gives understanding to the simple God's word is a light for us. It helps us to see. It allows us to see right from wrong. Because without God's word, just look at the world around us. They don't know right from wrong. They some they call sometimes they call what's wrong right and what's right wrong. Sometimes they get it right, <laughs> but uh, it's just uh, it's a mess. Our world is in a mess because people don't believe there is such a thing as absolute right, absolute wrong, the way the Bible says. But uh, looking into God's word gives understanding to even the simple-minded people like me. Verse 131, I opened my mouth and panted, for I longed for your commandments. Do you long for God's Word? If it's been a little while since you've read your Bible, do you desire it? Or do you just forget about it? You don't really need to read God's Word anyway. It's the way you feel. I hope you long for God's Word. And the more you get into it, the more you read it, the more you'll want to. Look upon me and be merciful to me as your custom is toward those who love your name. Yeah, so look at, you know, the Lord watches us. saying, watch me, Lord, watch, my, watch me. Be merciful to me the way that you are merciful to all the people who serve you, all who love your name. We do love the Lord. We love the name of the Lord. We, we love God. Verse 133 continues, you know, in verse 132 it said, Look on me. Now in verse 133 it says, Direct my steps by your word, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Direct my steps. I want the Lord to lead me. You know, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If God is leading you, That's the most important thing because he's going to lead you the way that he wants you to go and things will work out a lot better for you. Sometimes God will lead us through rough times, but while we're leading, while we're following his lead, while he is leading us, we're on the right path and we can be sure that we're doing right while we let him lead with his word. Let no iniquity have dominion over me. And that's the exact opposite of being led by God's Word. A lot of people who try to change God's Word don't seem to realize what they're doing is, being, is having iniquity form in them. They're having rebellion against God. God said, don't lie, but I want to lie. So I'm going to find some way to explain it away. That's being rebellious against God saying, I saw what God said and I didn't like it, so I'm going to do things my way. That's what iniquity is. That's, that's what the first thing that was found in Lucifer. So, when you think about being, having iniquity, you might think about who you're in company with. Who you want to be like. Do you want to be like Lucifer? 
verse 134. Redeem me from the oppression of man, that I may keep your precepts. You ever felt oppressed? Just pray. God will deliver. Sometimes not as soon as you'd like him to, but in his time, his way, for his glory, and it'll all work out for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Verse 135, make your face shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. <laughs> Ever just feel like you are so much, you are in God's will at that particular moment. You're doing exactly what God wants. Maybe while you're witnessing to someone, maybe, uh, maybe while you're Sing a particular song that's ministering to someone. God, where you're exactly God's will. That's when God's face is shining on us. Wish you could have that forever, but eventually we will mess up in some way, or just simply God isn't it's precisely using us at that exact moment. We're resting, <laughs> you know. But when the Lord is with us. It is an incredible feeling to know. I mean, God's always with us, but then He's really with us. It's an incredible feeling to know you are just perfectly in God's will. And again and again and again, this word, this chapter says to teach us this word. Teach us your statutes. Teach me. We need to be able to be taught by God, not to teach God. Because the Holy Spirit is more learned. Verse 136, rivers of water run down from my eyes because men do not keep your law. Does it bother you to see the world in rebellion against God, your friends in rebellion against God, your family in rebellion against God? Does it bother you? Or does it not matter to you? Which do you think God wants? We're supposed to have a uh, concern for the lost, a passion to reach the lost. And I hope that uh, each of us has that. That's the last verse in this stanza. So I hope that this has uh, been a benefit to you. I'll see you next time. Until then, walk in God's ways.